You guys need some lights? All the lights, all the lights, lights, lights. I'm tired of hanging lights. But don't worry, I'm cheerful because we got a fun one today. It's flirty and you're in your 30s. It's flirty 30. Okay, maybe I should never do that dance again, but we got a fun chipper for you today. So we've all seen and done probably Filthy 50. You know, enough of our friends now have turned that big 5-0 They've made it, dragged us out, made us do that whole long run. Well, we're sending you all backwards in time, making you young and vibrant, even though you all already are, and we're getting flirty and 30. We're just, we're bored and we needed a funny acronym name to go with this one. So, flirty and 30. It is 30 reps of a whole bunch of movements at a time. So, 30 step ups, 30 double arm bent over rows. 30 kettlebell swings, 30 lunges, holding that weight, 30 tuck ups, 30 push presses, 30 supermans are our tools for superwomans if you need them, but you get the picture. 30 goblet thrusters, squatty thrust, 30 push ups, 30 reverse burpees. Oh, what an ending! Ah, so let's get rocking through this. First off, what we're looking for here is a little bit faster than that filthy 50. So some people have a filthy 50 from 15 to 25 minutes, ranging in there, and you know, you got it. There's some freaks out there. For you all today, what we're looking for is anywhere from 12 to 16 minutes on this funny thing. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten movements? How 12 minutes? But don't worry. Got you. It's okay. At worst, you take two minutes a moment. Won't probably happen because a lot of these movements you can do pretty quickly. Second, there's always scaling. We'll talk about that and ranges of motion and things that they have to change. Third, you only have to do the movement once, so you can kind of push it. You can kind of reach for it today. All right. So let's have a little fun. Let's see what we got. Last thing here on time frame and kind of intensity wise, we will have a 20 minute cap today. That is just to protect you, so you're not doing endless minutes of burpees, because that'd be me. We all know. Ben, ben would get done with the first nine movements in probably under 10 minutes and then spend the remaining time trying to figure out how he can't reverse burpee. I'm working on it, but don't worry. I got you. So here's what you need to do. First, step ups. Something just above the knee so that we achieve this motion. We want to go hip crease or knee above hip crease. If we can, if that bothers the hips or ankles, Change it up, make it different, make it a little lower. Also, we like to weight that, so find an object, find your pink backpack, find something, find all the light boxes I just threw around the garage, where you need, find it, use it, work it. Next, bent over rows. So, solid hinge position, like so, good hinge, something in both hands, and you're rowing back to your butt and hip pocket. Notice I said back and not up. We continue to see a lot of folks Row up here. You can see how jammed in my shoulder is to my ear. That just causes headaches, pains, tension, bad shoulders. We want to be hand, hand in front, pulling back towards our butts. Okay? Really think about that row back because we all want nice sluts and all that. So we can do pull ups, muscle ups, big power cleans, snatches, squats, all the fun things. And it just makes you look better, feel better. Makes that cozy sweater warmer, all that stuff. So please, row that back. Swings, solid hinge, squeeze this kick. Because it's coming after that bent over row, make sure you're using your buns, make sure you're hinging properly. There. Lunges, hold that in the goblet, preferably maybe hold it down in the farmers if you need to. Again, you can change the range of motion here if you need to. So if you can't stride and tap that knee to the ground, find a pillow, find something to elevate the target, tap it to that. If it's really bothersome on the lunge and they're just like, nah, no way, change it up and go back to step ups. You'll be fine there. Also, don't forget, you can take away the weight if you feel like 30 weighted step ups or lunges get to be too heavy for you. We prefer to see it with weight today, get a little challenge, but again, anytime you're picking weights here, you should be able to do all 30 unbroken. The only reason you would break them up is because you're pacing for the whole 10 movements. And we talked that 12 to 16 minute time frame, we want to pace throughout this. So maybe you could do 30 unbroken, but you'll break up. Just keep the strategy smart. Okay? 
Next, tuck ups, same strategy there. We go long, tuck up real tight on the ground, make that hollow happen and then make that compression happen into a beautiful sit up. You can't do that. Our coaches know this, but they'll take you through it as well in the Zoom. Tuck your legs back, do a reverse crunch. So your hands are under your butt, your knees tuck up nice and tight, smooth there. Think about that movement first and then worry about the tuck up. That will also protect your back for those of you who struggle with that. Because notice if you can squat, you can do that. So if your back's flat and neutral on the ground, take your legs out long, tuck them back up. That's a sign that our core needs work over our back needs protecting. Because our back's flat, it's not moving. If it's moving, you're doing something wrong. So think about that, utilize that movement there and it'll actually help you build your abs today in a fun little way. Next, push presses. So again, finding that position stacked here, pressing straight up, watch that overhead position. You've been seeing people get in narrow here, sticky and icky and ouch. Think nice, maybe wide, helping yourself with that trap like me, or allowing some other freedoms there in range motion, okay? You should see that bare minute here from the t-shirt pulling up like me. It's kind of funny in the end. You'll get it there. All right, next, Superman. What is Superman? It's an arch. So you all know the hollow, do the exact opposite. So roll over on your belly, arch up, pull your chest off, pull your hands above your head, and make whoosh noises. So you're gonna arch up, go back down. Arch up, go back down. Nice and smooth there. Be careful on this, it will pump your low back. So if that's a little tender for you, be careful. Maybe just do some bad good mornings or some weighted goblet in the mornings there. Next, goblet thrusters. Holding that object right underneath the goblet. Make sure you have a fantastic squat. Stand, press that thing up above your head. Should feel like a wall ball today. Just not throwing it. If you have a wall ball at home, use a wall ball. But don't throw it because it'll hurt your face. You want that. All right. Next, push-ups. Thinking about that solid push-up form. Take your hands just below your chest again. Elbows stay in or about at a 45. Thinking, how do I push a door open or someone else open away from me? You know, keep them six feet back type situation there. Think about that. Tight end push-ups. Nobody pushes someone away like this. It's just silly. So don't make your push-ups look like that. Last but not least, reverse burpees. This can be probably the most challenging thing for a lot of us. Some of us, this will be the breeze and the ease and the bees knees at the end. Big thing, elevate yourself if you need to skip. So find a pillow, couch cushion, something like that. Elevate yourself up the ground. That'll help that roll up into there. Also think about the feet cross, the Robin special as I like to call it. That feet cross can help you kind of turn and get up and down off the ground like that. Nice and smooth. I can. That is the flirty 30. A little fun with it. Wait it. Get after a fun little chipper. The whole goal is to be breathing and moving the whole time. This would be a fun one in the gym if we were doing it because you kind of like talk trash to the person next to you as you transition from movement to movement. You should be able to breathe and move and kind of talk to anyone at any point in time. It shouldn't be so much a hard run, 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 sprint. It should be kind of fun, moving, chipping, talking a little trash, having a little fun as you go. Okay? So have that, do that, get after it. Okay? Then we move into our performance care after party. For those of you who are feeling beat up in the week, please start doing this. I promise they'll make you feel better. They'll help you. The body will feel good. What we have is four rounds for quality. We're going to do 10 alternating grinders, then five meters of lateral plank shuffle, 10 low to high band chops or low to high dumbbell swings, and then last but not least, 10 rockbacks. So what the heck are all those movements? So one, you can Google any of those, the movements are there. They're easy, kind of simple, but I'll walk you through them here. So first grinders, we've all gone in the push-up position. You're going to bring one foot up by your hands like so. See? Kind of up by your hands. Yeah, you get it. Nice, solid push-up plank there. And then bring that foot up there. Alternating back. Go maybe down dog and then reverse it the other one. Okay? Five on each side. Nice and simple and slow. Stretching and opening those hips. Next, lateral plank walks. Thinking here. This would be my scaling option for the evening here. Laterally this way. Laterally that way. Again, maintaining that tight push-up form. Moving sideways, not forward and back. And going there. Next. Low to high chops, it's exactly as it sounds. You attach a band onto something, you take it from low, up and over to high, okay? It's kind of like swinging an ax in reverse. When you swing an ax down, this one you're swinging up. We should see a little hip twist, we should see that rotation of the spine and core and helping our bodies kind of move and rotate there. Last but certainly not least, hip rock backs, these are down on your hands and your knees. Your spine is nice and neutral, like you're doing a big front squat. 
and then your knees and feet are positioned in the same spots that you would a squat. So kind of just translate the squat, flip it onto the ground, tuck the hips back, feel that pinch, then go back out nice and smooth. It should help alleviate any low back or kind of pinching pain that we have there. Okay, okay. That's it. Simple, easy. Perform the care. That's why we do them. That's why Thursdays always got them because usually people have trained three days in a row, but we want to sneak that in there for you. Okay? Have a little fun with this one. Take care. Enjoy. Breathe and move. Feel freaking good today. Bye. We'll see you around the gym. We'll see you on the Zooms. Take care. Bye.